Please listen carefully. After logging in, you're going to click the Apps button, and then you're going to go to Drive to access all things Google Drive. At the very basic level, Google is a great place to house your work. You can upload files that you already have by going to File, or New, and then File Upload. Notice that you can upload anything from your computer. You can even upload entire folders. Um, and then you can access these folders. You can create new folders to and drag and drop things into different folders to keep yourself organized. And then you've also got a shared with me option here. And this is if somebody else has invited you to collaborate on a document that they've created. So I have two places where I can find work, my drive and shared with me. If you have a lot in your drive, like I do, then you can go ahead and search what you need right here and then you can find it. So if I typed in technology, anything with technology in the title is gonna show up. We're gonna also show you how you can create a Google document and then give you some time to practice. So you're gonna to go to new, and this time instead of uploading a file, you're gonna create a Google Doc. If you've never created a Google Doc, you're gonna notice it looks very similar to Microsoft Word. First thing that you're gonna do is give your document a title so that you're able to find it in your drive, and then you've got a working document here. The neat thing about Google is that one, it saves automatically, and two, you can share your document with other people in your group um, or different teachers anyone that you want to share with. So I can insert people's names here. So if I was going to share this with Miss Barry, I would just type in her email. Or I can go to get shareable link. Notice that this is anybody in Northwest ISD with the link can view. So if I were to email this to everybody in my group, they could all view the document. If I wanted to give them editing rights, I would change this to anyone in Northwest ISD with the link can edit. So there are a lot of different options. You even have the commenting option. Okay. and then you would just click send. Here is a Google document that I have shared with several other people, and I want you to notice that Miss Wilsey has added a comment. You can comment on documents by clicking a certain place in the document and then choosing the add comment option. So that's this right here. And then you can write um, any kind of constructive feedback that you have or something that needs to be added. Notice that I can also um, go in and reply to different people's comments. So this is a great way to work together. I also want you to note that the document we created is now housed in my Google Drive. So we're gonna go ahead and take a few minutes. I want you to log into Google, and then I want you to upload a file to your Google Drive or create a new Google document and practice sharing it with somebody in your advisory class.